Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I took a shower. Yay. <laughs> it feels so good. I don't have makeup on. It's great. Um, how's everybody doing? We had Memorial Day. Eric, I just want to say hi. I don't see your actual real-time face, but I see your cute little logo. So it's nice to have you here. Brianna, Courtney, Misha, Margie, Jeremy, Diana, Christy, roll call. Um, so Eric, uh, uh, since you're new to me, um, what's up, Misha? Hi. <laughs> um, if uh, you want to put anything in the chat, so this is Meditation 101. My camera's broken. It's okay, babe. Um, if you want to put something in the chat, so this is Meditation 101 and a mindful conversation. So what we've been doing the last couple of months is in the beginning, a lot of people that came in had like never meditated before, just had questions about it or were kind of new. And now we've all been rolling together for a bit, which is really great. So Eric, not to put you on the spot, but um, if you're new to meditation, let me know if you have any questions, if you've tried it and it feels weird. Um, we can unmute you too if you just want to talk, even though your camera's broken. And we can, I can kind of dispel any mystery for you if you are new to this. Otherwise, we can we can dive in or normally, you know, someone shares something and um, and we, uh, <laughs> Misha's having breakfast, lunch, brunch, breakfast. <laughs> Um, uh, normally, you know, someone shares something and, and then we just kind of have a conversation about it. So, um, I got a thumbs up from you, Eric. Does that mean, what does that mean? Oh, yeah. You want to talk? Yeah. I'm Hi. <laughs> and I am, I'll let you know if I have any questions. You don't have any questions? Not right now. Are you new to meditation? I am not. I actually have done it before with a couple other classes. I am in college right now and I took a class on it. Um, so yeah, I'm just here to see what it's like up with you guys. Oh, cool. Okay, awesome. Well, welcome. Um, Courtney's eating. I love it, guys. Well, okay, I'll try to <laughs> I'll try to talk for a bit so you can finish breakfast before we meditate or brunch. Um, so we had Memorial Day, and that was interesting. Um, how has the weekend been for everybody? Uh, Jeremy, you made a face. Did you not know that 3D was going to take a month off? You didn't know. Totally shocked. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, oh, Courtney's got a sad face. I know, I know. And a thumbs I know, up. No, me too. Jeremy, I have your email. You're on my mailing list. I'm gonna send you this amazing meditation for pain. Okay, it's really, 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 really good. Um, because I think, you know, so many of us, <clears throat> we've talked about this many times in different ways where, and this is like a Buddhist quote, right? But it doesn't mean anything, it applies to everybody. So pain is a guaranteed part of life, yeah? You're going to stub your toe, you're going to lose somebody, you're going to lose your job, you're going to have your heart broken, whatever. Okay, so pain is going to come up because that is life. It's part of it. Um, but how much we suffer is kind of up to us. And what I mean by that is it's when we feel resistant to something, when we make up stories about I shouldn't, I shouldn't be in this much pain. It should be easier. That wasn't supposed to happen. You know, we talked about this right at the top of the pandemic when we all came together. It was like, what? And we're just raging against the machine. I'm sorry, I'm sweating. <laughs> it's like so hot in my room today. Um, and, you know, and what does that really serve? Nothing. It doesn't really serve anything. Now, I think there's something to be said for not liking the way that something is going, like it, it feels out of alignment for you as a person, right? Or as a soul or with your values, like you can say, wait a minute, this is really funky. This doesn't feel right. This is wrong, you know, like morally. Yeah, you can feel resistance to that. You can feel anger about that. And that can motivate you to take some action. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying if something just is the way that it is, our choice is to accept it or to suffer. And in my experience, the sooner that we move into acceptance, the quicker we actually move through it. And even if it takes a minute and everything, and just so you know, spoiler alert, if you never see me or talk to me again, try to find a way to cultivate patience because literally everything takes longer than we want it to. Like everything, except life. Cause I feel like one day we're gonna wake up and be like, I'm 50, what, what happened? You know, like or I'm 70 or this is the end or what, you know, I think it actually does move fast in hindsight. Once, once you kind of get rolling and reach a certain age, it just kind of takes off. But, but most things, things that you want, things that you wish were different, things that you need to move through, it's going to take a minute. And, and patience, um, did I give you guys this quote before? It's so, so good. I'm going to paraphrase it, but it's fantastic. And it's it, it basically says, 
patience isn't waiting. It's looking at something until it's time to look at something else. And you're gonna know when it's time to pivot. So for Jeremy, um, your balance, <laughs> my God, love. Um, you know, so it's, so for Jeremy, it's like, I'm in a lot of pain. It hurts to breathe right now. I'm having a rough day. I'm worried about my friend. Like, cool. Like, that's okay. It's okay, right? It's okay to be in pain. It's okay to be worried about your friend because it means you give a crap about another human being. And that's awesome as far as I'm concerned. So it's okay. It's okay to be in pain. It's okay to be moving through something. And I think, you know, in, and in this meditation, Jeremy, I'll send you, I'm gonna find a couple for you um, because there are two different schools of thought. It's like breathing in light and just kind of relaxing the body and, you know, doing some chakra work or whatever you want, just like really leaning into the breath to kind of release any pent up energy because so much of our stress lives in our tummy, Jeremy, like so much tension, stress. People have all kinds of digestive issues, you know, ulcers, um, I have a hyenal, hyenal hernia. Thank you. <laughs> um, you know, and, and it's like popping freaking, you know, whatever they're called, like it's candy sometimes. And, you know, and you can try to move through that, but, but the other, the other way is, so it's, it's feeling that it's breathing through it. It's visualizing yourself being at peace, being whole, being healthy you know, filling it with light and just kind of like purifying your own system. Um, yeah, so I think, I think just letting it be okay or imagining like melting the knots in your stomach, like releasing that tension, just visualizing it. Um, I had another idea, but I'll, I'll come back to it. Um, and, then, and then with your friend, um, you know, all we can do in moments like this is just make sure that the people that we love know that, they, that we love them and that we're here. And that can look different, you know, and sometimes people know what they need and sometimes they don't, but just saying the words, I'm here, I'm with you, you know, calling, checking in before and after, you know, none of that costs money. That's just love, you know, so we can, we can extend that love and we can just say we're here. Hi, Biddy. Um, you know, and just, and just be gentle with ourselves. These are uncertain times. Nothing like this has ever happened to anyone in our generation. So our bodies are handling it differently. I would not be surprised if there's a new wave of like chronic back pain. I would not be surprised if it's like tension headaches in the back of the neck because everyone lives on their computer and their phones now. I would not be surprised if there's a new wave of tummy issues because people don't know how to deal with their stress. And I'm telling you, let's start with breath. Let's go one, you know, just breathe. Just breathe, feel the feelings, be in the moment that you're in. Because the, the, the sooner we accept it, the sooner we make peace with it and release any, any judgment about it, any judgment about how we're handling it, any guilt around our body. I should be this, I should be this, I should have done that. Why is this taking so long? That, that, that doesn't do anything except make it worse. So I am love, I am whole, I am healthy, I am perfect, I am beautiful, everything's gonna be okay. You know, we have these mantras, we have these tools where we can, we can support ourselves in that. Um, oh, good, Jeremy says he got another family member to respond. So there's connection, right? Finding connection wherever we can. It's my nephew's second birthday today. And because they can't do parties or anything, obviously, um, my sister and her husband and the baby are going to drive, they're going to do like a reverse caravan <laughs> and bring cupcakes to all of us and just like wave from the car. But um, we decided personally that as long as we have our, our masks on, the grownups at least can like hug and just like look away and then burn our clothes or something. I don't know. You know, we're trying to, trying to be safe, but, but just the thought of maybe getting to like hug my sister today almost brings me to tears. You know, I mean, it's, it's crazy. And I, and it's, it's a beautiful notion to remember that we're, like I said last week, you guys, you know, we are being of service by honoring this because it's unknown. It just, it's still, there's still too many variables and, and better safe than sorry. And I think that's hard for people again, because Americans don't have a lot of patience <laughs> or people in general, I think are not very patient. So it's like two months, um, you know, but we just got to kind of hang with it for a little bit and, and find this connection where we can. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
it's it's tricky but we did our hugs last week didn't we hug yourself think of the person that you want to hug and just hold them in your mind's eye and just give yourself a big hug do it i dare you let's go hug 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 think of someone you miss and give them a hug but hug yourself <laughs> christy's like oh my god it's the hardest it feels amazing because we don't love ourselves enough either by the way and I know I said this before, but we're the only ones, we're who we came in with and we're who, who we go out with. <laughs> like, so let's have some fun, you know, let's like really take care of ourselves, whatever that means to you. Uh, <laughs> did you say your short arms? Oh my God, you're so funny. <laughs> um, so Eric, I'd go on tangents just like that, but we can move on to something else. So does anyone else have anything they wanna share, anything that's bringing up for them or how they feel? I have it, and obviously I'm not a doctor or a scientist and I don't know anything, but it does feel like <clears throat> that's what it's going to have to be is being mindful, right? Like choosing, <laughs> like being really thoughtful about the choices that we make and just being safe, just being smart and safe and, and small. And if you know, and if you know it's your family and they're being safe and they have been quarantining and you have like, it, it makes sense that those little pods can start to merge together, you know? Um, <clears throat> but it's weird. It's weird because on one hand, it's like, it's my life. And I, if I'm willing to risk my life to go see my mom, like that's on me, right? And that's my choice <laughs> with life. But also I'm, I'm potentially putting others at risk. So it's really not about me. And I think that's maybe where everyone's kind of like, you know, we talked about this going back and forth of like full acceptance and then full like bratty resistance of like, this is insane. You know, we kind of go back and forth depending on our mood because it makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. And it's like a beautiful, kind thing that we're doing for one another by staying home. Like it really is. And by the way, forget me and forget you and forget all our friends and family or whatever. What about all the healthcare workers like Diana? who, you know, at like almost every hospital, urgent care, whatever, has been overrun for months, you know? I mean, it's, can we make it about them? Like, it's just, you know, it's, this is a real opportunity to, to just kind of open our mind and open our hearts and realize that we really are all in this together. That my action, even if I feel very strong about it and confident about it and at peace about it, like, it might affect somebody else and we have to consider that. But that was true pre-pandemic, <laughs> right? Like, how am I showing up in the world? Am I being a douche or am I being kind? You know, am I doing the right thing or am I doing the easy thing? And are, is someone gonna be affected by that? Are, they, are my kids watching this? Are my kids watching my behavior? Because they are sponges, as most of you probably know. They watch and they see everything <laughs> and then they go do it in some form, or they rebel hard the other way, right? Like, so we gotta, it's not about us. It's just not, it's not. And um, I've seen many reports that people can be immune to the virus, the carrier, and are completely non-symptomatic. I know, Jeremy, right? Like, so we could have all had it already and not known <laughs> and carried it and giving it on accident. So it's, it's very gray. And I think, you know, again, what do we have control over? We have control over ourselves. That's it. How we react to things, how we respond to things, how we show up in the world. If we are kind, if we do do the right thing, you know, that we can rest, we can take this time to rest. We don't have to feel guilt about not being productive or not being creative. We can miss our people and get, and get, we can miss our people and we can miss hugs and learn how to be okay, not getting what we want. I didn't even think about that till this moment. What if this is an opportunity for all of us to practice not getting our way? How easy is life, right? For most of us, generally speaking, in this country, we are very, very privileged people. We get almost anything that we want. So what if this is a time to practice like, <laughs> not getting what we want? I don't know, because you're not going to all the time. I didn't get to the college of my dreams. That certainly didn't happen. I can name 10 dudes that never wanted to date me that I was totally smitten with, you know? And that's just the shallow shit. I'm talking like big picture life stuff. You know, it happens where we don't get our way. And the gift in that 
if you're willing to look for it, the gift in that, if you're willing to be mindful, is that maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a gift we didn't get our way. Maybe it's a gift we didn't get what we want. Maybe it's a gift that I didn't get into that college because I can guarantee that not getting into that university is what led me to some of the best things of my entire life, like hands down. And that's the gift with age is you, you start seeing the path behind you, right? You start seeing all the breadcrumbs that have been leading you to this big, beautiful something else, or this hardship carried you over here to this practice, which made you a much more empathetic, compassionate person over here, which made you a better artist over here, which made you a better doctor over here. So thank God for misdirection. Thank God for not getting our way. It's just not comfortable. And it's not our norm. Some people it is. Some people have adversity every freaking step of the way, and you know it. And we, most of us, are not that. So we have this opportunity to get comfortable being uncomfortable because that's where we grow anyway. Freedom is on the other side of discomfort. Growing pains, they're called growing pains, guys. <laughs> it actually hurts when we're kids and our bones are growing. Our bones are literally growing. It's like Harry Potter crazy magic stuff, right? But that happens inside our body. We, our bones are growing when we sleep. That doesn't even make sense to me. And then the rest of our body has to like catch up with it. And then our brains are developing for God knows how long. And then we have emotional stimuli and then we have like social stimuli and influence and oh my God, right? Forever. And then we think we figure out what we are and who we are and that we're people and we're grown ups and we're normal and we got it. And we have our friends, we have our likes and our dislikes. And then you get another five years older and everything changes again. And another 10 years older and everything changes again. And then you change your mind and people think you're not allowed to change your mind. People get so mad when you change your mind, by the way. <laughs> and I have with other people, I'm like, who are you? Where's the person that I know over there? And they're like, I'm different now. And it's like, okay. And then you get to decide if that works anymore. And that's it. And, and I think this is a real, I think it's a real opportunity to explore fluidity and ease and grace, right? To, okay, I'm uncomfortable, so what? I'm sad, so what? Let me be sad. I'm in pain, okay, I'm broke, okay. I'm still here. As long as we're here, there's work to be done. As long as there, we're here, there's growth to be experienced, right? As long as we're here, there's love to give and there's love to receive. I'm gonna read, um, that's right. Jeremy just said, uh, close friendships and a really good medical professional to help him. And his life has been redirected. And this is some of the biggest influences he's ever experienced all coming in at once. A thousand percent. I'm so happy for you, Jeremy. That's awesome. It's so beautiful. Misha and I are having a call today. She and I have had a lovely connection because of this. You know, I haven't seen Gretchen in 112 years. And it's like, I get to see her face twice a week. I'm so happy. And I got Daniel the other day. I got Tej on a phone call when this all started. Like, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's, it's an incredible. And this is what I mean. I, you, I, there's no way that, that I would have ever known that <clears throat> 20, almost 25 years ago, I would meet TJ Dawson and we would be a freshman in high school together and then have our entire crazy ass journey that that Apple was right. Gee lady over there. Okay. So we have, we have APA, which is magical. And then everybody goes their separate ways and we're all in kind of in touch, but not really in combo and drama and love and fun and ridiculousness and loss and whatever. And then- And Denny's. Years, and Denny's, thank you, Courtney. Yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> and then a pandemic happens. Oh no, let me go back one. And then I become a meditation teacher. And before that, TJ and his family open up this massively successful, beautiful, impressive, like Broadway of the West, as far as I'm concerned, magic, and this build this incredible community. And then the pandemic happens. And then TJ and his people and Gretchen and everybody are like, well, we got to serve our community. We got we to gotta stay present. Our patrons, our, our performers, like we got to, 
this is crazy. We got to stay together. We got to stay on the ball. We got to stay engaged with life, with our, with our art. And they create this magical little university situation, all for free, by the way. Generosity, generosity. And then I decide to be really brave one day and send this massive, ridiculous email in my newsletter that's just, it, the title was literally everything but the kitchen sink because I was just like, times are crazy. Here's every gift I have and every resource and every person that matters to me. Like here, you know, I just, I was like, take, take it. Everyone just stay sane and it's okay. We're in this together. It moves TJ enough to reach out and say, hey, we're doing this thing would you be willing to lead a meditation? And I said, how about like lots of them? And he goes, great. And now here we are. But you can't know that your buddy from freshman year of high school is, and then you two are gonna come together 25 years later and serve this incredible community of which I am so now grateful to be a part of, like for real. Uh, this, these Tuesday, Thursdays, by the way, have been some of the most beautiful gifts of my life of my life, of my career as a teacher for sure, but also as a human being. I, you, I couldn't, you can't, and that's what I mean, you know? If I tried to make this happen, half of you wouldn't show up because you'd be at work, <laughs> right? Like we have the gift of time now. And whether we're, we're furloughed or we lost our job or we're working from home, like we have the gift of presence, the gift of time to be with each other and to try new things you know, to hone our craft, to open our minds, to open our hearts. So I think it's pretty cool. So if we can, thanks Margie. Oh, I got emojis from Margie. <laughs> you know, so, so maybe it's not a bad thing that we didn't get our way for a little bit and we can lean into that and see, see what's waiting for us on the other side. All right, um, Diana's so grateful. Yeah, me too, mama, for sure. Hi, Melissa. Welcome. Hi, Denise. Welcome. I didn't say hi when you came in. Um, we have a little more time before we, we can dive into the meditation. If anyone wants to do a share, has a question, otherwise we can, we can just go for it. Let me know. Yeah, you're welcome, Gretchen. Anybody? No? Good. They're like, no, let's meditate. God. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, um, Melissa, I feel like you've been here before, but I don't know. I feel like I'd remember your name. Um, okay, so if you're new to meditation, uh, Melissa, I don't know that you are. You can put in your chat. Oh, you have. Great. Oh, you have. Oh, good. Okay, I thought so. Okay, great. So everybody knows what we're doing. Um, let me put on my trusty little speaker. Okay, everybody, um, choose if you're going to stay seated uh, or lie down. Yes, I remember you, Melissa. <laughs> um, so choose your position. Oh, Brittany's lying down. <laughs> and uh, roll your shoulders down and back if you're staying seated. And, you know, we always talk about this, but alignment. So a straight line from the bottom of your tailbone all the way through the top of your head. That's like, there you go. A nice straight line. Your neck is long, so maybe you have to tuck your chin a little bit if you're like this or hunched over. Just really nice, really gentle. Um, Oh yeah, okay, you got it, Jeremy. Um, I'll send you a bunch of stuff after this, okay, babe? Um, okay, so shoulders down and back. So if you wanna roll a couple forward and back, go ahead. If you wanna roll your neck out. Um, oh, I have news. Oh, Courtney just said, I look forward to each week. Uh, definitely thought of this group with the hiatus announcement, yeah. Um, so for the month of June, um, I'm, I'm offering, I'm finally offering this new program I've been working on for a while. Um, I also have a monthly membership, which is like $18 a month. So if money's tight, do that. And you get me in your inbox Monday through Friday and you get a call with me every three months. Okay. So it's, it's much shorter versions of my tangents and sometimes like breath work, sometimes a meditation, sometimes like a fun activity, um, you know, all kinds of stuff. So it's really, really good. Super affordable, 18 bucks a month, Monday through Friday. I'm in your inbox. You get my support. And we get to email back and forth. It's fantastic. Okay, so I'm gonna I'll send you links to everything. Um, beautiful classes, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Misha. Okay, all right. So there's thank you for saying that, Courtney, because I totally forgot to say that. So I'll say it again on Thursday, and 
I'll put the link in the chat after the meditation, but um, yeah, well, I'll be here to support you. And I'm going to add yoga. I'm going to add yoga probably at least once a week. I'm going to do like a, all levels. So if you're like super not bendy <laughs> or new to yoga, it's just like a really good, just move your body and breathe. And then the other one will be kind of like a more traditional flow. So we'll, we, I got you. I got you. All right, here we go for real. Close your eyes, my friends. I saw a couple of you doing this, but yeah, if you wanna roll your shoulders or your neck out one more time, just whatever you gotta to do to get situated, sitting nice and tall. And as always, when we breathe in through the nose, I want you to fill up your belly with air, like big Santa Claus belly. Let it just hang out, puff up with air. Then even your chest rises, you have so much oxygen. And then when you exhale, your belly contracts and your chest falls. We're all performers of some sort, so I'm sure we've had breathing training, right? So breathe in through the nose, fill the belly up with air, the chest rises, nice full deep breaths with your eyes closed. And then exhale out of the mouth. You're all muted, so if you want to sigh, make some noise, whatever feels good to you. And make sure your palms are open and facing up in your lap, nice and relaxed. I don't want fists. We got to just open up. Everything opens up, okay? And if you're in a chair, make sure your legs are uncrossed and your feet are flat on the ground. So how about three breaths all together? Deep inhale in through the nose. And then exhale out of the mouth. Two more like that. Big deep inhale, filling the belly up, the chest up. Exhaling out of the mouth. <sighs> One more like that. Big, big inhale, filling all the way up from the tips of your toes to the top of your head. Full body inhale. And then exhaling, sighing everything out. And then just gently return to your natural breath. Breathing in and breathing out. We'll do a quick body scan. So wherever you're feeling any of that pain, wherever you're feeling any tension or any tightness, any gripping anywhere, any friction, any funkiness, like whatever's going on, if you feel any part of your body calling your attention, I want you to breathe into that space. I want you to imagine sending light to that space. And if you don't feel any pain or tension anywhere, good job, just breathe light and more breath into your entire body head to toe. But if it's your hip or your shoulder or your tummy or whatever, just imagine a light source vibrating there and getting warmer and bigger, softening everything, relaxing everything, releasing everything. And just breathe into it so you feel an opening here. Our bodies are amazing. They do so much for us every day without us even having to think about it. It's really an extraordinary thing. But another thing that happens is it stores tension for us. It tries to protect us. I feel like when something's too much for our mind, our body tries to help out. And they're like, oh, we'll carry that for you for a while. Don't worry. And then we have tight hips or tension in our tummy or our, our chest feels tight because we're trying to protect ourselves. So really tune in here. And just take a moment and say, thank you, body. 
thank you, beautiful body, incredible body, for all that you do for me every single day. Thank you for moving me around this planet, for carrying me. Thank you for trying to protect me. Thank you for keeping me safe. I'm ready to let go now. I'm ready to relax and release. And this is definitely something you can spend more time on, on your own. Really exploring this, and when you're ready to feel the feelings that might be pent up, when you're ready to open your heart space, when you're ready to let go of guilt or shame or resentment or anger, when you're really ready to process it, make sure you're doing it in a safe space, with love and with light, with support. And we can just breathe into our bodies and decide to let go, to move forward, to shine, to fly, to let it all go. We are safe, we are loved, we are supported, we are held. So just breathe now and spend some time sending love and light through every cell in your entire body. What color is the light? What does it feel like vibrating through your whole body? What kind of movement does it have? Is it cascading down your body? Is it glowing like an orb? Every inhale and every exhale just continues to nourish your body, nourish this light, nourish this healing, this release. Breathing in, breathing out. You start to feel teary-eyed or tingly or relaxed, or maybe you have a sneeze. Just let it be okay. This is your body relaxing and releasing. Let it all out as if it's just being dumped on the floor, <clears throat> melting into the earth, and being used as fertilizer for something beautiful to come. or your tears are water nourishing the plants around you.
just the process of t tuning into this energy that might feel negative or repressive or whatever's going on in your particular body, releasing it is okay. Because the minute you acknowledge and purify and release, it immediately turns into goodness, into love, into light. It's just energy. Energy is neutral and it's the meaning we put on it. It's the intention we meet it with. So it is safe to let go. It is safe to cry, to relax, to release, to express. It is safe to let go. Breathe. And just start to shed what no longer serves you. Or maybe this big, beautiful light deep within, the real you, the purest, most beautiful, whole, loving, healthy part of you, busts open like an egg cracking, and you're born into this new lighter, freer version of yourself. Imagine yourself stepping through, shining through. You don't need to carry anything else anymore. And it doesn't have to be hard and it doesn't have to be strenuous or extensive. We can just decide, breathe and shine. Can choose to let go roll with the punches <laughs> roll with the distractions let it all be okay and just breathe Continue to relax and release, letting go, shining that light, knowing that you are perfect in your imperfection. You are nourished by your breath. And you are whole and fabulous exactly as you are. So breathe.
So good, everybody. Whatever you're feeling, let it be okay. Wherever you are, if it feels good, know that you can come back to this space simply by closing your eyes. Breathing, going in. And just remember to be gentle. Gentle with yourself, gentle with your fellow humans, your family, your friends, strangers. Be gentle, be kind. Let it all be okay. And just keep coming back to your light. One more full inhale here, breathing all the way in from the tips of your toes to the top of your head. And then big sigh, <sighs> exhale out of the mouth. Yeah, 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 bigger, bigger, bigger. One more, breathing all the way in, full body breath. Inhale, full, 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 full. And then exhale, sighing everything out, letting it all go, all go, all go, melt away. Last one like that, big, 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 big inhale. One more exhale. Send yourself a little love, your body a little love, gratitude, so much gratitude for yourself, for everybody else for showing up today. Let that gratitude fill you up. It's always there right in your heart. Just send a silent thank you to yourself, all of us, the world. <clears throat> so grateful for another day. Gently open your eyes whenever you're ready. Hey everybody. Yeah. High five, group high five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, always feeling so good. <laughs> you better. <Sure>. Nice. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so glad. Got a thumbs up from Margie. I'll take it. Yay. Oh, and Denise. All right. <laughs> thank you and so Eric, much. Thank you. My pleasure, guys. This um, is listen, awesome. here in the chat, putting my email again. Yes, please do. And if you're not following Miracle on Instagram, uh, please do so. Um, it's, it's at, is it at, uh, is it at ha Hazen Will Travel or is that? Have, have Zen Will Travel. Have Zen. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. But I'm also Miracle Lori, either one, but I like to keep all the meditation and yoga stuff over there. But if you email me, then I can make sure you're on the mailing list for, um, the new program and and you can sign up for the the monthly thing i was talking about through the website so just if you that want to stay in touch I want, during my in my, I want miracle in my inbox <laughs> <laughs> um but i just figured you know make sure that you get on that if you want to stay in touch because we'll definitely have some kind of meditation mindfulness you know i have my own community that you guys can just hop into during the hiatus so love that um, yeah, this was this was great, everybody. I love your faces. I love your beautiful faces. I know. I love everyone's faces. <laughs> this has been great.